Basic cell tumours account for approximately 2 to 3% of adult testicular tumours. The majority of them occur between the ages of 20 and 60, and this accounts for about 80% of the Leydig cell tumours, and 20% occur in children between the ages of 5 to 10. Prognostically, age is important because Leydig cell tumours are always benign below the age of puberty, but in adults, approximately 10% are malignant. Leydig cell tumours belong to the sex called stromal group of tumours. They secrete androgens and arise from the interstitial cells between the tubules. The pink staining cells we are zooming into between the tubules are normal Leydig cells, also known as interstitial cells or interstitial cells of Leydig. And because the androgenic effect is more pronounced in children, they present early and are much smaller than in adults at presentation and are not palpable in many cases. In contrast, in adults, Leydig cell tumours usually present as a mass and in 30% of cases there may be gynecomastia. Gynecomastia may also occur in association with Leydig cell tumours in children, but only in approximately 10% of cases. There are a number of risk factors for Leydig cell tumours, including testicular atrophy, crypt orchidism, hereditary leiomyomatosis and renal cell carcinoma, family history, infertility and white ethnicity. Here is an atrophic undescended testis, although technically I suppose it has descended into a pathological specimen part. The typical gross appearance of a Leydig cell tumour is a well-defined nodule around 3 cm across with a yellow or brown cut surface. In children, of course, the Leydig cell tumour will be smaller, around 1 cm across. Histologically, there are sheets of tumour cells with abundant granular pink staining cytoplasm, regular round to ovoid nuclei, and there are crystals called Reinke crystals or crystalloids. As with other sex called stromal tumours, useful immunostains include inhibin, melan A and calretinin. And here is a Leydig cell tumour that has been stained for inhibin. This testis contains a Leydig cell tumour and it is the pale brown well circumscribed lesion we're zooming into at the centre of the picture. And this is an H and E of a whole mount section of a testis that demonstrates just how well circumscribed this lady cell tumour is, and that is the lesion at the left side of the testis. This is the typical histology of a Leydig cell tumour and it is composed of sheets of cells with granular pink staining cytoplasm. And the rod shaped pink structure we are zooming into is an example of a Reinke crystal or crystalloid. Although the majority of Leydig cell tumours of the testis are benign, approximately 10% of them have a malignant behaviour. Risk factors include older patients, tumours larger than 5 cm across, more than 3 to 5 mitotic figures per 10 high power fields, nuclear atypia, infiltrative margins and necrosis. Gynecomastia, however, is associated with benign behaviour. The main differential diagnosis of a Leydig cell tumour is Leydig cell hyperplasia, and here is an example of Leydig cell hyperplasia. Leydig cell tumours have sharply circumscribed margins, but in this example of Leydig cell hyperplasia, you can see rather ill-defined nodules of hyperplastic Leydig cells.